Torture was very popular as punishment in the Middle Ages. It appears that it was fun the masses to watch. Favorite one so far has been the Brazen Bull because they came out to watch this because maybe they were crazy, but this was an actual torture chamber. It was a hollowed out brass bull, looked just like a bull. It opened from the top, you put a human inside of it, and then you started a fire under it. And as the victim cooked, they would row themselves about and scream. No one could make out exactly what the sounds were inside or what exactly was happening because what it looked like is that the bull was making bull noises and he was just moving around. You'd see some smoke come out of its face because that's where the smoke would come out, but it just looked like a bull was moving around, making noises and snorting, putting the smoke out. Most people enjoyed it. They enjoyed watching the bull move. They didn't recognize the pure brutality that was occurring inside of the bull. However, there's some really cool aspects that I like of it. At that, the guy that created or invented the, his name was Perilous. He thought he should get a large reward for making this device, but instead the tyrant Valaris put him into the bull first, the very first person to be put in it, and he was healed, obviously, because what happens in it is they put you in it they heat it up and the brass burns you to death. Well, not only did the guy that created die in it, so did Valeris eventually get put in it when they had enough of him. They put him in there and they cooked him off. Have you ever heard of the middle-aged torture device called the scavenger's daughter? It is horrendous. It was used to crack bones and dislocate the spine. It was created by a British man named Skeffington. So sometimes it was called Skeffington's Gives. Really, it's called the Scavenger's Daughter. Now, the tool consists of a hoop of iron with a hinge in the middle. The victims sat crouched on one side of the hoop while the other half was put over their back. The torturer would just tighten the screw to make the hinge force the victim into a more crouched position. So, what would happen to the person? Hmm. It would crack the ribs and the breastbone. And of course, the spine would be dislocated. When this occurred, blood would burst through the fingertips or through the face as this crunching was occurring. Queen Elizabeth I of England used this tool for high treason. Another torture device. Oh, this is, these are the last two. Just insane. The torture device that is discussed in this video were for women. For some reason, some of the torturers really enjoy torturing women. They would torture women in England by drowning them if they committed a crime where men, they hung them so it would happen quickly. Women, mm -mm, they wanted to put them in the water pit so that they would take a long time drowning. That's how much they loved that. The practice of sexually torturing women happened in the Roman times. Female victims were allowed to be raped by the soldiers or put into brothel to actually torture the women women when they committed a crime. Some cases, the women were paraded down the street naked, and then after they were paraded down the street naked, they were sexually mutilated. The torturers that liked to torture the women had strange fixations on their breasts, and they would burn, brand, or simply amputate breasts. But one of the worst machines that was made in the Middle Ages was called the Breast Ripper. It was a metal claw that would be pierced into the flesh of the breast. What would happen is a victim would be tied to a wall. Then they would puncture the breast with the breast wall and then they would yank it away and do it repeatedly tearing the breast to shreds. Now this didn't always kill someone. In fact it never killed anybody but most of the time torturers that like to torture women would do a whole lot more to them. It wouldn't just be them. They usually used this piece of equipment for heresy, adultery, and of course many more crimes the pair of anguish. What the heck do you think that one's about? Ooh, probably one of the worst tools ever for um, torture. It could be used orally, anally, or vaginally. It was shaped like a pear made up of four separate pieces and on the top it had a 
key and it was all made of metal on heretics they would use it orally for homosexuality they would use it anally and for witches they would use it vaginally and what would happen is they would insert the pear twist it to start opening and it would slice to shreds the insides and while this caused extensive internal injuries it didn't kill them but for the most part why would you still want to be alive however most of the time when this torture was used there was other torture used afterwards so most of the victims did eventually die well goodness make sure you subscribe after you finish this video and come back for some more history weird history of course bye